Hello, this is Heather Meeker. This narrated presentation is part of a series on open source software licensing. I'm a lawyer and venture capitalist who specializes in open source software licensing. Lots of clients ask me what distribution means. This short presentation will explain the meaning of distribution and why it is important to open source licensing. All open source licenses are unrestricted licenses. They grant all the rights under copyright law. The graphic on this slide shows the four freedoms of the Free Software Foundation. Unlike proprietary software, which might limit how many users or servers can run the software, open source is free for any kind of use. That's one reason people love open source software. But as they say on Sesame Street, one of these things is not like the others. Sharing works a little differently from the other freedoms. Open source licenses can impose conditions on the exercise of the rights they grant. Although they don't restrict what you can do, if you take certain actions, you must meet some conditions. All these conditions are triggered by your exercising one of the rights of copyright. In the United States, rights of copyright are defined in the Copyright Act as the five enumerated rights listed here. Public performance and public display apply to media like fine art, music, or films, and they're not really applicable to software, so we will lay them aside for the moment. The remaining three rights are the most important rights for software. Making a copy is necessary to run software. You have to copy software to memory to execute it. Examining source code to study also usually requires making a copy. Copyright also covers the right to modify software, and the four freedoms include the right to improve software. But most open source licenses, like GPL or BSD, only impose conditions for the exercise of one of the enumerated rights, which is distribution. They allow you to copy, run, and change the software all you want with no conditions. That's sometimes referred to as making or using private copies. By the way, the photo here is of Tim Scully of Autodesk writing code with the help of his cat Merlin. He's making some private copies. Distribution is therefore an important trigger for open source software licensing requirements. Those requirements can include sharing source code for licenses like GPL, for instance. But what exactly is distribution? There are some easy cases and some less easy cases. Distribution is not actually defined in the US Copyright Act. If you want the legal analysis, there is a link to an article at the end of this presentation that provides legal analysis. But the TLDR version is that distribution is transferring a copy to another person. Both those requirements need to be met for distribution to have occurred. What does that mean to you, a software developer or user? There are a few actions that are obviously distribution. All of these are transfers of copies that satisfy one of the requirements of distribution. Transferring copies on media like CD-ROMs is a classic kind of distribution. Distribution also includes making software available for download, even if the recipient actually initiates the download. Mobile apps are all distributed from app stores. And lots of hardware products include embedded software. When the ownership of a hardware device changes in a sale, that's also a transfer of a copy of any embedded software. There is one thing that is not distribution, and that is software as a service deployment. In SaaS deployment, the software stays on the cloud servers and no copies are transferred to the user's device. All SaaS involves the transfer of a small amount of client-side code, like JavaScript. That software is distributed, but it is usually a very small part of the SaaS system. By the way, there are some open source licenses that use SaaS as a trigger for conditions like source code sharing. They are called network copyleft licenses, and they include a Faro GPL. If you want to know more about that, check the resources listed at the end of this presentation.
But for now, we're going to talk about what distribution means. There are also some gray areas. Consider the makers of kiosks and other devices. When they deliver units to retail stores, ownership of the device does not change, but the retail store has possession of the device. The device has lots of software on it. Is this distribution of the software? That's a gray area. And what about rentals like cars or scooters? They all have software on them too. At the end of the day, temporary possession of a device is probably not distribution, but the law is not precisely clear on the topic. Even if a copy has been transferred, it might not be to a different person. Companies like corporations and LLCs are considered legal persons, so sharing copies within a company is not distribution. But there are also some gray areas on what constitutes a separate person, such as transfer of copies among related corporate entities. In the end, if you expect to avoid the conclusion that you have distributed software, you need to make sure that any agreements you have in place regarding the sharing of the software is consistent with the position that you're taking as to distribution. There are some other gray areas as well, such as giving software to a consultant who is working for you. This is usually not considered distribution, but the law is not 100% clear. Also, giving a copy to a customer in a beta test probably is considered distribution, even though it might not be a commercial sale. And of course, if you make a copy of software available to members of the general public, that is certainly distribution. Here are a couple of additional resources on this topic if you want to look into it further. These resources are mostly for lawyers who want to analyze the issue on their own. There is another narrated presentation in this series that discusses general open source issues too. If you want to know more about open source licensing generally, you might like to read my book, Open Source for Business. You can download a free copy by visiting my website, going to the links tab, and following the instructions there. As I mentioned, I'm also a venture capitalist. OSS Capital specializes in early stage investments in commercial open source businesses. That's it for this short presentation on distribution. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. This is Heather Meeker, signing off.